Hey everyone, so I just saw that uh, the HasLab Unicron just got fully freaking funded. Even though they had to extend the deadline by over a month, it got fully funded and it currently has 8,523 backers as of me recording this right now. So if I'm just doing the math, this thing goes for $575 plus tax. $575 times eight, 1523 is 4.9 million dollars for Hasbro and they had to crowdfund this project 4.9 million dollars for a Kickstarter what the f I mean, I love Hasbro, but come on. Did it really have to be a Kickstarter? Did it really have to be $575? Anyway, uh, welcome to the video, guys. I'm here to show you a haul, uh, the rest of my Force Friday Star Wars pickups. I'm gonna show you some DC Multiverse pickups that I have for my Batman shelf, which is behind me, which you probably can't see unless you like zoom in, but it's back there, I promise you. And then uh, I got a couple Marvel Legends, I got a Ninja Turtles vs. Batman pickup, got a Power Rangers pickup, but let's go ahead and get started with the Star Wars Force Friday pickup. So if you watched my previous video, you'll know that I picked up some stuff from the stores, but I picked up a bunch of stuff online. I actually stayed up till like midnight Eastern time on Force Friday, picked up a bunch of this stuff. Uh, one of which, this one right here, I was actually quite excited to see that they were offering this on Hasbro Pulse. This was a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive, this three pack, and I missed out on it. And then I saw it at a con, and I missed out on it there too. The guy was selling it for retail and I passed on it, so I felt kind of dumb. So I saw it on Hasbro Pulse and uh, figured, now's the time to pick it up. So I picked up this three pack, this is the Luke three pack. It's got the Jedi Luke, it's got the Pilot Luke, and it's got Stormtrooper Luke right there. So very, very cool. Very happy that this was still available on Force Friday. The other thing that I picked up at Hasbro Pulse is this big bad Mamma Jamma, which is a vehicle that I have been wanting to pick up. This is the uh, Luke X-Wing from Star Wars. So there you go right there. There's the box art there. There's the box art on the back. It looks freaking awesome. I love it. And uh, it will look great as soon as I get more room uh, displayed next to this guy right here, this Walmart exclusive TIE Fighter. So I still have this one in box, I haven't opened that one up yet. But uh, they will look nice together, along with my Millennium Falcon and my... I don't know if you can see it back there, but Snow Speeder that's still in that closet there. Alright, I also picked up a couple of the uh, Star Wars 3 and 3 quarter inch vintage collection figures. I think I got these on Amazon. But there is Zord Bliss, which I think is Carrie Russell's character in uh, Episode 9. So there you go right there, and card back, not focusing, there we go. And then I got this one right here, this is the Knight of Ren. So hopefully we get the rest of the Knights of Ren because they all look pretty different. I looked at some screenshots online. Uh, hopefully we get the rest of them in three and three quarter inch form. Maybe they'll do like a multi-pack or something like that. The rest of these Force Friday pickups are all Black Series figures. Uh, this one right here I actually found at a local Walmart. So if you follow me on Instagram, You'll see that uh, I found some, I don't know if they're restocks or initial stocks that they forgot to put out or didn't want to put out, but I found an entire wave of uh, the white box first edition Black Series figures at my local Walmart. So I guess check your local Walmarts, check your local Targets. I've seen that Walgreens is actually getting them as well, and Walgreens right now, depending on when you watch this video, has a 25% off sale. So you might be able to score first edition white box Mandalorian for 25% off. But I got the Mando white box. I already have a Mando in the red box, which is right here, the next one I was gonna show you. So there's two Mandos. I still don't have the carbonized version, but a buddy of mine might have found one. So you might see that on a future video. He's coming down to Dallas and I think he found me a carbonized version. So I'm very, very excited for that, that I'll have all three of the versions. I'm gonna unbox this one. This one's gonna go out in the display. I have an entire detolf shelf for uh, Black Series Star Wars figures now, but this one's gonna stay in box with the rest of my white box. 
Uh, I think I need like two more to have the entire first wave in the first edition. So uh, I'll keep those on card for now. And then I picked this one up here. This was an Amazon exclusive. This is the shiny, beautiful, shiny, shiny Sith Trooper by Amazon. I would have thought that this would have been a Target exclusive because they got the whole red thing going on with Target, red card, red stuff, red trooper. I don't know. You missed out on an opportunity there, Target. I don't know why you had the friggin' carbonized Mando versus this one, which is all red. But anyway, Amazon exclusive. And I got the uh, red carbonized shiny box Sith Trooper. So I got that one right there. And then the final one that I got is a GameStop exclusive, and this is the Carbonized uh, Second, is it Second Sister? Yeah, Second Sister Inquisitor Carbonized version. So super shiny, very nice, gloss, shiny box, bam. Uh, so there you go. Those are my Star Wars Force Friday pickups, all the ones that you haven't seen already. The rest of the stuff here is... Let me just show you. It's a pile of stuff here. So first things first, I got this one right here. I got this from GameStop. It is the Psycho Red Ranger and the Red Ranger in Space. So very, very cool. Lost Galaxy Red Ranger, as he's called on the box, but Space Red Ranger and Psycho Ranger. So uh, for those that don't know, I have a kind of a new-ish uh, addiction to these Power Rangers figures from Hasbro. They're doing such a great job on these figures. A couple of these figures are like in my contention for top 10 of the year, uh, especially the freaking Lord Zed. But I started another shelf, a Detolf shelf behind me. I'm going to show you this stuff in a collection video. I will get that out to you. My collection's just changed a lot recently. I've done a lot of downsizing. I've started new lines. My collection's in flux right now, so I wanted to make sure that I had something steady to show you because I don't want to show you my collection and then sell a bunch of stuff and then it's totally different. So anyway, that's the reason I've delayed on the collection video, but it is coming. I uh, stumbled upon these two gals at Walgreens. I already have a Danny Moonstar, but I found a second Danny. So this one's going to be a Wolfsbane figure. So I found a second Danny at my local Walgreens. These were the only two they had, just two on the shelf. And then I finally found this beauty. Bam! Sexy Emma! has come home to daddy. There you go. I got a thing for blondes. And sexy Emma is a blonde, babies. I got Emma Frost, modern Emma. This looks like it's not focusing. This is a new camera, by the way. I'm using a new camera and it's not really focusing. So I don't know if it's something I have to do with the adjustments to make it autofocus. But this was a very expensive camera. This is the Canon. G7X Mark III. So this large haul that you're seeing right here might be the last large haul you see in a little while while I pay this off. That's not focusing on me right now. While I pay off this Canon G7X Mark III and while I also pay off uh, another one-up machine. The TMNT one-up machine came out. It's at my Walmart. It's 400 bucks. So you might not see a big haul for a little while until I can save some money, put that towards this thing and the thing that's gonna be over there and then uh, save some more money for more toys so or adult collectibles so I don't freaking get demonetized by freaking YouTube. Those freaking. All right, so I got a bunch of DC Multiverse figures. If you've watched my previous videos, you'll know that I am working on a shelf right now, my Detolf shelf in there, and it's all Batman. I wanna do an entire Batman family shelf all the Robins, Batgirl, Batwoman, Batwing, Alfred, frickin' Clayface since he was on Detective Comics, and then the rest of these figures here, which I'm about to show you. So I finally got a Batman. So there is the Batman I decided upon. This is the New 52 Batman. This is technically not a multiverse figure. It's a DC Unlimited. This was kind of like the, uh, the line they did in between DC Universe Classics and Multiverse, but this is a badass looking freaking Batman right there. This is awesome and it's out of focus and you can't really see how badass it is. So I guess you'll see it on the collection video when I show you my entire Batman shelf. But I did pick up a Batman. So there you go. Very, very awesome. I got another Batman. For those that don't read comic books, this is another Batman, but it is not Bruce Wayne. Bruce Wayne was dead. He was dead as a doornail for quite some time. I think it was, I don't know, like a year in the comic books. 
And this man right here, Mr. Grayson, took up the helm as Batman. So there you go. There's Dick Grayson as Batman, as I have affectionately called him in previous videos. There's Bat Dick. So there you go. I got the uh, DC Multiverse Killer Croc Wave Batman by Dick Grayson. There you go. He's going to go on the shelf. He's actually going to go on the shelf right next to uh, Nightwing Dick Grayson, which I don't have yet, but I still need to pick up. There's a few that I still need to pick up. That's one of them. I need to pick up a Red Robin from this wave, and I need to pick up a Batgirl from a previous wave. I don't remember which wave that was. I think it might have been Lex Luthor. I don't remember, but I need the Batgirl. Um, I did pick up two ladies for the Bat family, and this first one is Spoiler. So she was a previous Bat girl, but now she's known as Spoiler. I don't remember her name. Is it Cassandra Kane? It does not say. Correct me in the comments. Those that are in the Bat know, uh, let me know what her actual name is. I think it was Cassandra Kane. I don't know. I might be wrong. But there was like three Bat girls at one time, and she was one of them. And then I got this one right here. This is Bat Woman, and this freaking wave is ridiculous. A couple of these figures here are just out of control price-wise. The Jessica Cruz Green Lantern goes for a butt-ton of money. I don't know why. And then the Two-Face also goes for a lot of money. I found her at Dallas Vintage Toys, so I got her. This is Batwoman. I'd love to have this Clayface in my collection. I'm not sure how I'm going to score the Jessica Cruz and the Two-Face for a non-ridiculous price, but I uh, definitely want to pick up the rest of those to build that Clayface. So there you go. Those are my DC Multiverse pickups. I picked up this right here. This is the Batman versus TMNT pack with Batgirl and Donnie right there. So there's only a couple more packs which we're waiting for. We're waiting for the uh, Shredder and Ra's al Ghul and we're waiting for Mikey and Alfred and then we have all of the figures from this awesome movie. Again, if you have not seen Batman versus the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, it's a fantastic fantastic movie. I actually rented it and I liked it so much I had to buy it so I could watch it over and over and over so I bought the Blu-ray version. The other two things that I picked up are both Mezco figures. They just came, they just arrived so they're still pretty much all packaged up but I got the exclusive Batman and Black Mask. I think this was a New York Comic Con exclusive. I'm pretty sure they sold out like right away uh, at New York Comic Con but I did pick up this online um, I was very lucky to do it. They sold out, I think, like two minutes. You gotta produce more of these Mezco because these things are in high, high demand. People didn't get them at New York Comic Con. People didn't get them online. Make more! You'll make more money if you make more of these damn things. But I'm happy that I scored this one right here. And then, and, and it can still be limited. I know you want to keep things limited and generate interest and people start talking about you. Even if they're mad at you, they're still talking about Mezco. You got your name in the press, but still, it could still be limited. Just make a little bit more so that people aren't angry that they didn't get it. Anyway, I got this one as well. This one is a, another Mezco exclusive. This was a Gomez. Uh, it is in a lunchbox. I'm not sure why. I think it was the uh, Stealth Ops. Yeah, it's the Stealth Ops Gomez. And I still don't understand why it's in a lunchbox. I mean, it's cool that it's in a lunchbox, but I just, I don't, I don't understand why it's in a lunchbox. You know, if it's Stealth Ops version, they could have it in like an ammo crate or like a, I don't know, just lunchbox doesn't make sense to me. But anyway, that's the haul. So that's everything. I think I got everything there. So uh, the other two things. You might have noticed a cut earlier in this video, and the reason I cut abruptly is because the doorbell rang, and my dog Will was going ape shiz downstairs because the UPS guy was here delivering two hot toys. So I got two new hot toys, which I'm not going to show you in this video. I'm going to dedicate the next video to those two new hot toys. I'm going to show you them in box. I'm going to show you them out of box. We're going to do a showcase on both those hot toys, but I'm very, very excited for both those hot toys. I might have a third one coming, I think, later this week. So it might be three, depending on when I get to filming that video. But there you go. Um, I will let you know, hopefully you watch this sooner than later. And if you are in the Dallas area or the Texas area on 
October the 20th, I'm gonna be in a freaking panel. They actually asked me to be in a panel at a con. <laughs> yeah, I know. I was surprised too. So I'm gonna be on this panel with not another retro channel, Craig, who you know. Rube the Great will be there as well, who you know. I'm also gonna be there with Ed's Retro Geek Out and Greco Fabulous. So the five of us are just gonna be talking toys, talking toy hunting, or adult collectible hunting, YouTube. And uh, yeah, come join us. Uh, hang out for the conversation, ask questions. But uh, yeah, come join us for this panel. Again, it's at Retropalooza, 10.30 a.m. on Sunday. Sunday, 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 October the 20th. Join me! Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, and sharing this video. But for now, adios.